Well, it's a very beautiful day right here on the Buzz UG. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for subscribing. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Now, yesterday, uh, students from different schools in Kampala took to the streets to protest the EU Parliament's resolution on the East African crude oil pipeline. But Fred Gajubi Lumbuye says he has information that these students were paid 50,000 each to get involved in these protests. Now, some Ugandans on different social media platforms are saying that these children are very innocent about these matters so they cannot just wake up one morning and get involved in two matters they don't understand. And that shows you there is an invisible hand behind them. Meanwhile, this picture has been trending so big time on different social media platforms. Government critics are trying to say that President Museveni is back with the tactics he used in the 1980s of involving children in matters they don't understand. But some Ugandans are saying, Mr. President, this time around you won't succeed. Leave our children alone. Well, it should be remembered that this week, President Museveni fired back at the EU Parliament and called its members young girls and boys. When you go to the Parliament, these are just young, young girls, member of Parliament. You, you, you are lecturing me what, what to do in Uganda, you young girl. However, we haven't received any response from the EU Parliament in regards to this matter, but we are still waiting and I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Now, the Prime Minister of Buganda Kingdom, Charles Peter Maiga, has expressed dismay with the prolonged detention and delayed justice for the incarcerated NUP members of Parliament, Horebo Muhammad Segrinya and Alan Sewanyana, who have been in prison for over a year now. Katikiro, while speaking to the castlers in Makindia Division this week, lashed out at the institution of the judiciary for failing to administer justice for the jailed members of parliament. In his own words, he said, As a lawyer, I'm aware that a suspect is presumed to be innocent till proven guilty. Sewanyana and Segrinya both have a right to apply for bail under the pretext that they are innocent till proven otherwise. I'm not happy that members of parliament can spend all this long time in prison. Well, there you go. That is the Katikiro of Buganda Kingdom, Charles Peter Maiga. Now, the president of traditional healers in Uganda, Mama Fina, has extended a donation of 2 million to Ronald Alimba after involved in a fatal accident yesterday. Mama Fina and Ronald have been friends and she has been there for him financially a couple of times. You know, this is not the first time Mama Fina is helping him out. Well, big upon yourself, Mama Fina. Well, on the other hand, Ronald Alimba has called upon his fans not to believe those such Latin information suggesting that he's also dead. He says he's still around, though in agony. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the latest update I have for you from uh, Ronald Alimba's camp. You know, Ronald, we wish you a very quick recovery. Otherwise, I don't know what you have to say about the stories I have for you this morning. In case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle